Hi guys, my name is Jam and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today, I will show you how to make this beautiful crochet top. For this top, I will use a sport weight yarn in color blue. And I'm gonna use a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. Also, we will need a darning needle for later. And lastly, we need a pair of scissors. I've already made the bra cups for this top, but if you want a video for this, I will put the link in the description box below. Now we're going to connect these two pieces together by making a single crochet row at the bottom. Now this top is a medium size, so if you need a bigger size, just make sure to add more rows into your cup until you reach your desired width. Grab the cup where your working yarn is attached to and turn it upside down. Now, chain one, and then into the very last double crochet stitch, insert your hook, yarn over and pull through, then yarn over and pull through two loops. Now you have your first single crochet. Now we will just continue making one single crochet in every spaces or stitches we have until you reach the very last stitch of this bra cup. Don't forget to count your stitches so that you will know how many single crochets you're gonna make and do the second bra cup. Complete this row by making a single crochet all the way through until the last stitch. And so now I'm done with the first cup, I have a total of 41 single crochets. Grab your second bra cuff and we will just do the same process for this one. We will start our single crochet into the very last stitch of this cuff. So you can see we have the tail right here and that's an indication that this is our last double crochet stitch. Insert your hook into that stitch and pull the cups together. Make sure that there is no gap. Yarn over and pull through, and then yarn over, then pull through two loops. This will count as our first single crochet for this cup. You will see that the cups are now connected. Continue making single crochet in every spaces or stitches until you reach the very last stitch of this cup. Make sure that you are still counting your stitches. Our goal is for both cups to have the same number of stitches. So if you have 41 single crochets on your first cup, this cup should have 41 single crochets as well. We just finished the single crochet row and now these two cups are connected. We will proceed with making the band. All you need to do is make chains that is long enough to wrap around your back. I'm gonna make 88 chains because we need our band to be an even number. Once you're done making chains, we will attach it to the other side. So here I have my 88 chains and I will now connect it to the other side. Now for you to do that, you have to flip your work. Before you attach it, make sure your chain is not twisted. Then we're gonna do a slip stitch to connect the chain. Now this is the end of our first row for the band. Now chain 1 and then we're going to do a stacked single crochet and this will count as our first double crochet. Insert your hook into the same stitch and make a single crochet. 
Now you will see that the single crochet has two vertical loops. Insert your hook into the loop close to your working yarn and then make another single crochet. This will count as one double crochet. Continue making a double crochet until you reach the last stitch. Once you reach the last single crochet, I will meet you there to show you how to proceed with the chains. Also, if you are looking for more videos like this, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. So I made it to the last stitch. Now we will make double crochet into the chains. We're gonna be working into the top loop of our chain. So I made a few double crochets and we're going to do the same all the way until the last chain. Here I am done making a double crochet in all the chains. Now we're gonna slip stitch into the very first double crochet. It's actually the stack single crochet we did in the beginning of this row. And we are now done with our double crochet row. This is how your work should look like. Now for the third row, we're going to start with a stacked single crochet. So all you need to do is make one single crochet into the first stitch and then another one on top. And this will count as one double crochet. So in every double crochet row, we will always begin with a stacked single crochet technique. But if you want, you can just do it the usual way, wherein you chain 3 and then you make a double crochet into the next stitch. Now continue making a double crochet all the way until you reach the last stitch. Once you made it to the last stitch, slip stitch to the very first double crochet. Now we're gonna proceed with this part right here. But I won't be able to show you exactly how I did it on this top because for some reason the video is corrupted. But don't worry, it's just very easy. And as you can see, it's just made of a treble crochet and chain one, then skip one stitch and then treble crochet into the next stitch. And you will just repeat the same process all the way. Here I have a small sample piece so that I can still show you how I did that row. So to begin, we have the small piece right here and I already made two rows. So we're gonna pretend that these two rows are the previous two rows we did for the band. Now let's proceed with making this next row. First, we're gonna close the previous row by making a slip stitch into the very first stitch. Now we're gonna start on the next row. So for this row, we're gonna use the same technique that we are using when we are starting with a double crochet row. And that's gonna be the stacked single crochet technique. So you make a single crochet into the very first stitch. Now we will put another single crochet on top of this first one. Now as you can see for the single crochet, we have this side loop and then another loop that is actually the top loop of the single crochet. Now we're gonna make another single crochet on top of the first one. 
So insert your hook into the side loop and then make the single crochet. And that's how we do the stack single crochet. Usually we stop here but this time we're gonna add one more single crochet on top of this and that is to meet the height of a treble crochet. So again insert your hook into the side loop and then make a single crochet. So now we have a stack of three single crochets. Next is chain one and then we're gonna skip one stitch and we're gonna do a treble crochet into the next stitch. Yarn over twice and insert your hook into the next stitch and pull up a new loop. Now you should have four loops in total. Yarn over and pull through two loops and then yarn over pull through two loops again and last yarn over pull through two loops this is now our second treble crochet so we're gonna repeat the same process chain one skip one stitch and then make a treble crochet into the next stitch So this is how your stitches should look like. Now you just need to repeat the same process all the way through until the very last stitch. So your work should look like this and now I am making the last treble crochet for this row. Now chain 1 and then slip stitch to our first treble crochet. This is the stack single crochet we did in the beginning of this row. And now this is the end of this treble crochet row. The fifth and sixth row will be the same as the second and third row. Start by making a stack single crochet and this will count as our first double crochet for this row. Then make one double crochet into the chain space and then we're going to do the same all the way through. Make another double crochet into the next stitch and then another double crochet into the next chain space. So you just have to continue doing this pattern until you reach the last chain space of the previous row. Once you get to the last chain space, make a slip stitch into the very first double crochet stitch to close this row. And now we're done with row 5, so let's proceed with row 6. It's actually gonna be the same. We will just make a double crochet in every stitches. To start with row 6, make a stacked single crochet and this will count again as our first double crochet. So basically for this row, all you need to do is make one double crochet in every stitches. So we're done for this row, now we're going to do a slip stitch into the first double crochet to close this row. Now let's start with the mesh part, so chain 1 and start with your stacked single crochet. This will count as one double crochet. Then chain 2. And you just have to repeat this in every stitches. So make one double crochet into the next stitch. Then chain two. Make one double crochet into the next stitch. And then chain two. Now you should have this ruffles or mesh look.
Continue making the same pattern until you reach the last stitch. Once you reach the last stitch, make a slip stitch into the first double crochet to close this row. And now we're done with the first row of the mesh part. And this is how the bottom part should look like. And now for the second row, chain 1, then turn your work. Now we're gonna start working at the back. And slip stitch into the chain 2 space. And then make a stack single crochet into the same chain 2 space. This will count as our first double crochet. Now chain 2, make a double crochet into the next chain 2 space. Then make 2 chains. Double crochet into the next chain 2 space, then chain 2. This is gonna be the pattern of the mesh part. Repeat this pattern until the last chain 2 space. By the end of this row, you should have 2 chains on your hook. And then you need to make a slip stitch into the first double crochet to close this row. To start with the next row, chain 1 and turn. We will start working on the front part of our top. Make sure that you turn your work every beginning of the row. Now slip stitch into the first chain 2 space. Chain 1 and into the same space, make a stacked single crochet. This will count as our first double crochet. Then chain 2. And into the next chain 2 space, make 1 double crochet and chain 2. So it's still the same pattern, um, we're going to put our double crochet into every chain 2 space and we're going to skip the stitches of the previous row. And that's gonna give us the mesh look for this part. So again, that's one double crochet into the chain 2 space, then chain 2, then skip the stitch and into the next chain 2 space, make the double crochet, then chain 2. Finish this row by repeating the same pattern until you reach the last chain 2 space. At the end of this row, you should have 2 chains in your hook. Then slip stitch into the first double crochet to close this row. Chain 1 and turn. Now we always need to turn our work so that the part where we do the slip stitch will not go diagonally to the front. So again, let's now flip our work. Now slip stitch into the first chain 2 space, then chain 1, and into the same space, make a stacked single crochet. And this will count as our first double crochet for this row. And now chain 2. Make a double crochet into the next chain 2 space, then chain 2. Repeat this pattern until you reach the last chain 2 space, then slip stitch into the first stitch to close this row. 
Now repeat doing the same pattern until you have a total of 8 rows for the mesh part. However, if you want to make your top a bit longer, just add more rows until you reach your desired length. But remember to flip or turn your work every time you start with a new row so that the part where you do the slip stitch will not go diagonally to the front. It's gonna stay in one line. Now here is the final length of my top. I have made a total of 8 rows for the mesh part. Now I will show you how to make the strap. So from this corner right here, make a single crochet going up to the top part of your cup. And then from this point, make 250 chains. And just like how I want to start with every project, I always work with the back loops of the chain. Now from the second chain from the hook, make a single crochet. Basically for the strap, we will just make one single crochet in all the chains until we get back to the cup. Although if you want your strap to be a bit thicker, you can use a half double crochet stitch. Now you can pause this video so you can work your way through until the very last chain. Now we're done with the first strap and it should look like this. Next thing, we're gonna make a single crochet into the next stitch from your cup. So we will just repeat making one single crochet in every stitches until we're halfway done. So you just need to continue making a single crochet until you have 15 stitches left. So you should stop right about the middle. So I have a total of 20 single crochet. But for you, it's gonna depend on the size of your cup. Just make sure that you will have 15 stitches left. Now from here, make 14 chains. Then make a single crochet into the next 4 stitches. Now make 10 chains. And again make 1 single crochet in the next 4 stitches. Then this time make 6 chains. Then again make a single crochet into the next 4 stitches. And now make 3 chains. Then make a single crochet into the remaining stitches of this cup. And we're done for this side. Your work should look like this. And let's start with the other cup. For this one, make 4 single crochet. So 1, then 2, and four. Okay, there you go. Uh, we need to copy the other side, but this time we're gonna connect them so it's gonna give you the crisscross look. So chain one and then remove your hook from the loop. Insert your hook into the chain three space from the other cup, then pull the loop. Then make your second chain and third chain. There. Now make a single crochet into the next four stitches. Okay, there. So as you can see, we've connected the chains. So continue making a single crochet. So two, three, 
and four. Now we're gonna work on this chain now. So make two chains, then remove your hook, insert it to the six chain space from the first cup, then pull the loop through. Then make the chain three, four, five, six. Now make a single crochet into the next four stitches. And now for this chain space, so let's make four chains, one, two, three, four, remove your hook, insert into the 10 chain space from the other cup, and pull the loop through. Then chain five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 chains there. Then same thing, make a single crochet into the next 4 stitches. So 1, 2, 3, 4. So now chain 6. And then remove your hook, then insert it into the 14 chain space, then pull the loop through. Then make the 7th to 14th chain. So 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. There you go. And then make a single crochet into the next stitch. And it should look like this. Now the chains should give you the crisscross look. Right now the chains may look loose, but once you wear it, it's gonna stretch out and give you that great crisscross look. Alright, so let's finish this side. We will just continue making a single crochet until we reach the top part of this cup. Alright, we're now here on the top part of this cup, so we will now start making the strap. Just make sure that your straps have the same number of stitches, so their length will be equal. I did 250 chains on my first strap, so I will just repeat that. Now, after making the chains for the strap, we're gonna go back the same way we did earlier. So here I have my 250 chains. We're gonna go back the same way we did earlier. So we're gonna work on the back loops of our chain. Now on the second chain from the hook, make a single crochet. And it's gonna be the same process all the way through until we reach the very last chain. Just continue doing this and I'll meet you at the end of this row. Alright, so there you go. Our second strap is done. Now we're gonna clean the edge by making a single crochet in every stitches. So we're gonna finish this side by making a single crochet in every stitches until we reach this corner. We're almost done with our top. We will just clean the edge of the back part. Now I'm gonna show you how to proceed. So from this corner where we stop, you will just continue making a single crochet.
You just have to continue making a single crochet all across until you reach the other corner of the top. This corner right here. So I just finished making the single crochet for this row. Now we're gonna close this by making a slip stitch into the first single crochet. Okay, now we're done with our top. Next thing I will show you is what to do with these straps. Okay, grab your strap and from the corner right here, count 10 stitches. Now in between the 10th and 11th stitch, insert your hook, grab the strap, and then pull it through. And from here, count 8 stitches. And from the inside, insert your hook and pull the strap through. Count another 8 stitches and from there, insert your hook and pull the strap through. Okay, there you have it. Just repeat this on the other strap. Again, from this corner, count 10 stitches. And insert your hook in between the 10th and 11th stitch. Then pull the strap through. Now, count 8 stitches from here. Then insert your hook from the inside and pull the yarn through. And count another 8 stitches, insert your hook, and pull your strap through. And we're done. So this is your back part should look like. Now the reason why we did this is because... If ever or if in case the band part is a bit loose or a bit big, you can just tie a knot to adjust it. And of course, the final step, all you need to do is weave in all the ends you have. I will finish weaving in all my ends and I'll show you the final look. So this is how the top will look like when worn. The pattern for this top is very easy to follow and very easy to adjust according to your size. If you need a small size, just make the cup smaller. And if you need a bigger size, just add more rows to your bra cup. And for the band part, make sure that the chain or the stitches are multiples of two so you can easily follow the mesh part pattern. Also for the straps, you can change it to a half double crochet stitch if you want it to be a bit bigger and then you can also make it longer depending on your preference. That's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next video.